Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Positively Tampa Bay today. The Florida Holocaust Museum in St. Petersburg has reached an important milestone. They are celebrating their 20th anniversary. The museum is home to a permanent exhibit which tells the story of the Holocaust. And it's also home to programs that teach local students about tolerance and personal responsibility. Take a look. Kids need to know that it's not just something that's in textbooks, that it actually happened and there are people who went through it and were victims of this. This museum made a conscious decision when it was being put together not to have any graphic pictures. Our school children come from fifth grade and up. We want them to learn. We don't want them to be frightened, not to go home with nightmares, not to go home um, just remembering only the scary photos, but not the lessons that the docent has been trying to teach them and the survivor has been trying to teach them. And I think that young people, doom and gloom just doesn't do it. You need to know the doom and gloom. But unless you can change a behavior with a positive action in your own life, nothing is going to change. I'm inspired by all this to go out and help the world. And joining us with more in our studios, we have Carolyn Bass, who is the museum's executive director. And we have the honor of having with us in our studios also Liesl Schick, who is a Holocaust survivor and also a member of the board of the museum. Thank you, ladies, for coming in. Thank, Thank you for having us. And let's start by saying Happy Valentine's Day. Same to you. Well, tell us about the 20th anniversary. You all have a very important guest coming uh, to help you mark this occasion. Yes, Professor Ellie Wiesel will be our honored guest um, on February 23rd at the Mahaffey Theater. Um, he is receiving the 2012 Lo Lobenberg Humanitarian Award. And as you know, he's a great humanitarian. He's been connected with our museum since uh -huh. the beginning. He's been an honorary chairperson. He was part of the ribbon cutting ceremony, as many people do remember, uh, when we moved into our present building 14 years ago. So we are very honored to have him. That having him come and be a part of the ceremony, I'm sure, uh, took some doing. However, were you able to to make those it, arrangements? It was a lot of um, <laughs> persistence on my part. Uh, he is a very private person and a very yes. and a very public person at the same time. We worked very hard with his assistant. Uh, with some people from Eckerd College who did help us as well. And we, we persisted. It took about eight weeks till he finally agreed to come, and he will be speaking and receiving the award at the same time. So the audience that will be at the event will be able to hear a message from him. Absolutely. And we have allowed him anything that he wants to talk about because we know that whatever he says will be relevant, um, important, and relate to our mission. And this is a, a, an event that's open to the, to the entire community. It's not, you don't have to be Jewish to be able to enjoy oh, it. Oh, no, and the museum is not, a, is not just a Jewish museum. It's a community museum, and the event is a community event. And our sponsors range, they are, they are everybody. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful evening, and lots of empty seats still available. Right. Uh, we have many, many, many filled, but lots still available. Lisa, it's so nice to have you here. Thank Tell you us you about your me. experiences when you talk to the students. Uh, that little girl in the video said, you know, we learn about it in books, but here we see that it really happened. Yes, well, the first thing I tell the students, just about the first thing, is that there are people out there now in governments who say the Holocaust never happened. They're denying, they're Holocaust deniers. And uh, I say to them, the Holocaust did happen. I was lucky enough to live through it. And you are now my witnesses. You can say that you saw somebody who lived through the Holocaust and it did happen. So deniers rhymes with liars. Mm -hmm. And that's something they remember. Real quickly, how old were you in this beautiful picture I, that you brought in to share with us? I, I was 11 years old and my little brother was seven. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us, and we wish you lots of luck. Here's the information for our viewers if you would like to attend the 20th anniversary celebration of the Florida Holocaust Museum with special guest, the Nobel laureate, Elie Wiesel. This is February the 23rd at 6.30. Uh, and then for more information on the museum and its many programs, you can visit them online at flholocaustmuseum.org.